my colloidal silver. Kokum. Most of this is kept in the refrigerator. See, it's starting to thicken up. This has minimal amount of emulsifying in here. Because most of it is hard waxes. So I don't want to over emulsify this. It's not enough, I can always add some more. We'll just let that go. Still going. Needs to get down into the 40 range. Still going. It's still too hot. Another 20 degrees. So, I've been away from this for a little while. We're down to 41. Notice it's getting thicker now, so we'll let that continue. Come back in 15 minutes. Okay, so... The room is 27.7 degrees Celsius, so we still can drop this a few degrees. And then I'll put it in the refrigerator to thicken before we pour this into containers. Okay, so you can see it's starting to really thicken up now. This is still on full with the large magnetic bullet in there. And it's forming quite a nice emulsion. I imagine when this is refrigerated, it will be quite stiff. The NF will continue to thicken this over a week. So I can't really tell if it's any good for about a week. So let's just have a look what it looks like. We'll turn this down. Okay. Just slosh it around. So it's pretty fluid still. has got 75% water, so I didn't enrich it more than I wanted to. I still think this will thicken up because of all the hard waxes. The cocoa butter, the cocoa butter, the beeswax. And I, despite the fact I only put 3% emulsifier NF in here, I also put quite a big dollop of and lanolin, which as you know, is an emulsifier too. So this should be perfectly fine. Okay, so we're back at the end of the cream. About 10 minutes has passed. We're down to 31, 30 degrees, which is perfectly fine because that's close to room temperature now. So I'm just gonna fish out that magnetic bullet and then I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator with some plastic wrap over it just so it can thicken because I want to make sure that this isn't going to do anything weird before I put it in the containers and it could take a week before the NF has reached its full thickness potential uh, you know what yeah I think it's fine I think we'll stop that. Turn that off. Fish out the bullet. Get my extreme scientific instrument and the bullet will be right in the middle. Did I get it? There it is. So there's the magnetic bullet. And it's magnetized so it's sticking to the metal fork which is fine. I'm just going to give it a wash in the sink. Recipe, in case you're wondering. So this is again uh, number five. Recipe number five for the feet. 
And for once I decided not to put um, laurel berry in here. So there is evening primrose oil, abyssinian, a little bit of castor. I don't normally use castor because it can be drying, but I used uh, 0.3 of a percent, so that's hardly anything at all. Hemp oil goes in, cocoa butter, evening primrose, a fairly good wallop of lanolin, shea butter oil, coconut butter, beeswax, and the emulsifier. So you see it's really, really designed for high moisturizing content. So you can see up here I've got the aloe vera, which is repairing and moisturizing. I've got the 30 grams of glycerin. Uh, I've still got... I still put vitamin E and a bit of B5. <coughs> Don't know why I cough in the kitchen. Um, so it's all moisturizing. Uh, a little bit less on the complicated stuff I was using last time, despite the fact that there is a lot of oils here. You notice that the percentages are very low. So we're talking literally 1% or less, a third of a percent. So, yeah, so we're working with low percentages. The big oil numbers here are the cocoa butter and the lanolin. They're the ones I was aiming for. The rest was just kind of filling a few gaps which I perceived to exist in the finish of this oil. So I just wanted a little bit of absorptive properties in it. I want it to be hydroscopic, to put oil to my skin. And um, I haven't ever used coconut butter or shea oil before, so I wanted to see if that made any difference. And of course, hemp. Hemp leaves a nice, heavy, um, what's the word for it? It's very moisturizing anyway, so this would not be suitable for the face or anywhere that you might get acne. This is strictly for dry skin areas like elbows, knees, feet, and hands. Perfectly fine on hands. Um, it may be a little bit slow to absorb because it's got this much lanolin oil in. My hemp isn't fast absorber either. There we go again. So, 